I believe the combination of my music video and ancillary text combined is effective to being what I wanted to achieve. I think this as the themes, genre and the imagery are consistent throughout. All the photos I used for my ancillary text were taken on site of the music video locations. And uh, the what you can see in the background of the photos you can see in the background of the music video. I think this shows a link between them both, uh, being the music video and the ancillary text, which creates a sense of the like the artist actually being real and being real places. This is good because uh, people will see the links for themselves, and I know this because this happened for me whilst watching one of the vid videos that I like. Um, it will make the audience feel like they know something about the video and the text which are they, they are not meant to. Which is how I felt when seeing it on the Slaughterhouse Welcome to Our House album when they wear the same clothes on the back as they do in the My Life video. I kept the costumes the same uh, because you know I prefer it that way. Uh, some people did it differently. Um, I prefer it to you know, have a link between the two. The genre of the video and the ancillary text uh, are very obvious when looking at them. However, I did create text that fit the hybrid genre. The two genres are rap and country, which don't normally go together, but I believe I managed this well. The two text fonts, um, are, one's a very grimy font, which is meant to be the uh, rap, and then the other is more of a western style, which is obviously to be the country. All the mise on scene is the same in all of my media texts. This shows the connection and anyone looking at it would immediately recognise and be able to uh, instantly think of them you know, together. I believe this would make the audience more interested um, as if they, you know, like if they saw one product then they would be likely to watch or buy the other. Even the photos uh, in my ancillary text are in the same locations with the same outfits. So in the digi pack it's got the same locations and outfits as the poster uh, advertisement uh, that I created. I did choose to do these on the same day as when I was filming. This was to get the same weather and there wouldn't be any other faults like my actor shaving his beard or the outfit not being exactly the same as it was before. This also made it a lot easier for me um, personally, you know, not having to plan a separate photo shoot. I got to do it you know, like simultaneously whilst filming, um, which was, you know, very time saving and it looks better on the product. I used the the I used my friend's camera which was a Nikon D32 uh, uh, and uh, it proved to be a good camera because I could switch between the two um, modes, the video and the picture mode um, very quickly and because it was uh, a good camera the the quality of the video and the images is uh, the, you know the same the both high quality which uh, I think will make the product more desirable.